Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. Hopefully we'll have some nice weather because there's a ton of events going on, Dave. There are, and the best day is going to be for Saturday for sure. I know we have a lot of St. Patrick's Day events going on Saturday, of course, on Sunday as well, too. And the, really, the weather's starting to quiet down. Live look from our BJCC camera, pretty quiet downtown. 60 degrees out. There's some northwest winds. The front has moved through. Drier air is moving in. 57 there from Coleman back to Jasper. Aniana at 60. Gadsden at 59 degrees. They're cleaning up there in Etowah County from the uh, gusty winds we have with those thunderstorms early this morning morning and 60s for the rest of central Alabama now and you can see a little ground clutter maybe a little bit some sprinkles drizzle and mist can't rule out maybe some patchy fog by tomorrow morning but overall though as that front continues to sink southward it'll stall over south Alabama as we head into uh, tomorrow and then drier air continues to filter in from the north here and as the front moves to the south eventually kind of washes out but it will kind of wobble back northward as another front kind of builds its way back in you can see right now the only stormy weather we have is down here across south Louisiana but as we zoom out a little bit more, we'll be watching this system out here to the west. That'll be moving on in as we get into Sunday. And that as it moves through will bring us another shot of some rain as we get to the latter part of the weekend. So coffee cast tomorrow morning. We're talking temperatures starting off in the 50s. A little cool out there, but comfortable. Plenty of clouds through 10 a.m. But just in time for the St. Patrick's Day Parade at Five Points South rolling at 130. How about 68 degrees there warming up to 72 by 3 o'clock with some sunshine and a few clouds mixed in. Uh, don't forget your sun. Sunscreen. Remember, you still can get sunburn this time of year if you can be outside, out and about. So this evening, we'll have the cloud cover out there. That'll continue overnight into tomorrow morning. So look for the clouds to continue. But as we head to tomorrow afternoon, the clouds start breaking up and there's that sunshine I was alluding to. We'll have a mainly clear afternoon on Saturday, but clouds come back on sunny night. And then look at this 4 a.m. We have some heavy rain, a couple thunderstorms there from Tuscaloosa, Utah, Greensboro area. The Brent hitting into Birmingham here as we get to about six, seven o'clock in the morning. So we are going to see a little rain to start off your Sunday. That batch moves away from us here. We still have a few more waves just to the south. Most of us along and south of I-20. It does include, of course, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston for your Sunday. So that starts in the morning, continues midday, but by 4 o'clock, most of this clears out. And as we head to about Sunday night, we'll have another front coming through when things start to clear out for the area. So looking pretty quiet. So Saturday, partly cloudy, 73 degrees. There's the scattered storms again morning and into the afternoon. About a 40% chance. Temperatures down a little bit to 67 degrees. And if you're heading out to the Bulls game, we just talked about that. Uh, we're looking at uh, pretty decent weather out there on Saturday. It's Starting at 7 for the puck drop, uh, taking on the rail dogs there. And we are looking at uh, decent weather for that game. So if you're heading out there, not looking too bad. Now, what about our next weather maker? Yes, cold air is coming back in as we head into Sunday night and Monday. That front I alluded to coming in. We really feel the cold as we get into Tuesday morning. How about we start off Tuesday here in the 20s to around 30 degrees. So we're talking freezing conditions out there Tuesday. Enough of a killing frost out there as well, too. So we'll have to watch that closely as we head into start off your Tuesday to get ready for some colder temperatures out there. By the way, the average last freeze for us is typically March 25th, which would be in a couple weeks, right? So here's what we have then for your forecast again for tonight. We are talking down 56, 73 tomorrow. There's the rain on St. Patrick's Day, 67, 57 Monday, 30 again Tuesday morning, slowly warming up before more rain arrives next Friday.